school today, including me. What's going on? Jenny, you know what's going on. Daimui Human Anatomy and Art Trips. Just when I thought everyone just came back from ISA. And I didn't get to go to any. Oh, that's okay because all of you are stuck here in the school too watching this week's PTV episode brought to you by Jenny Lee and HJ Jen. Let's see what happened this week that Jenny and the rest of the absentees would never know. No! We'll know somehow. Among so many ISA events that have seemed to be happening one after another this month, we cannot forget about the musical talents of the school. And reporter Hyun Kim is ready to tune us into the dual set melodies that came together all over from Asia. This year, the cast is hosting the ISA band, the ISA Jazz Band. Here, I'm at the conference hall right now in front of the ISA band, where they have been practicing this morning, and they will continue doing so until 5 p.m. This year's ISA band gathered at KS, unlike last year's, which performed at Osan International in Osaka. Practicing from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. daily, the musicians in ISA band worked hard to bring wonderful music to the audience. Clara noticed Brian Moon speak about the rigor of the practices. Like literally eight hours a day oh. for the rehearsal. It was just all day practice. Uh, yeah, it was actually fun playing with the players in Japan. So which music did you play? Um, uh, the ISA festival here, we had two ensembles. We had the ISA jazz band and we had the ISA wind ensemble. Uh, Wind Ensemble did a um, march called The Klaxon, which is really fast. Uh, we did a piece called The Music Makers. And then our two big pieces were uh, variations on a Korean folk song and fantasy on a Japanese folk song. We kind of did the cultural exchange there. Uh, jazz band did a Miles, Miles Davis tune called So What? Uh, they did uh, Mantika, a nasty bit of blues, and a piece called Fancy Pants with some great soloists, and it was a good time. So how do you think the whole ISA festival went? Uh, it was a lot of work, um, a lot of lost sleep on everybody's part, but it was really fun. Lots of music, lots of good times, lots of good food. I think so. um, was there anything special you did this year, like compared to last year's ISA festival? Well, this was uh, us hosting, so we kind of got to show off our department. We got to send more people than normal, because as the host school, we got to fill in some gaps. So last year we sent 18 people, this year we sent 30. Uh, so that was really fun. We got to have uh, a lot of good musicians participate. So, how do you think the performances went? Uh, I think the performances went quite well. It was a real shame that all the performances for two days, there were only like 20 people came to watch. However, we, it was a fun experience, so yeah, it was nice. Um, how did you get along with your homestay people? Um, so, basically, I showed them what, like Korean culture, I guess. Like, because it was my last year in ISA, because I'm a senior, um, like I tended, I tended to take to take them to some places, right? And then sometimes I went over the curfew, but yeah, I didn't regret it. So we had a lot of fun. Like I took them to karaoke and fun experiences. This is Hyun Kim from PTV. Back to you, Jenny. Hyun how many papers did you receive? Um, why would you ask? Me bad. That just hurt my feelings. Oh, here's a pepper for you. That's for me? Yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. See what a pepper can do for a person? Reporter David Kim was on the scene of the celebration of Millennium Pepper Day on Friday at the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month of the 11th year of the millennium. November 11, 2011. Many of us call this memorable day the Pepper Millennium Day. For care students, Pepperoni Day is pretty much Christmas, although the presents are substituted with pepperoni. Students all around school celebrate this day by giving their friends, teachers, and lovers pepperos to show their gratitude, love, and compassion. Uh, I like pepperoni because you can eat all the pepperos and get more friendly with your friends. It's a very you can you can show how much you care about your the High School Student Council also prepared special events for students to have more enjoyments during Pepero Day during a busy studying week. They made hot and delicious Pepero grants for kids, same with cute costumes, and sent Pepero's to teachers for things. I like Pepero Day because I like chocolate and I like giving Pepero to others and exchanging them for their Pepero because and it's really good. PTV wishes that all students send pepperos to their loved ones and receive pepperos from their closest companions on a special day of November 11, 2011, a day that comes once in a century. This is David Kim from PTV.
Hi, this is Zhang Ji for the highlights for this week. Uh, at the crack of dawn on Tuesday, the delegates, reporters, and advisors left for Thailand in Singapore. And Wednesday was the first home game of the season for KIS's very own cheer squad and basketball team against YISS. And today, Mr. Morton's human anatomy class and Ms. Molinex's class went on a trip to see the original body works that arrived here in Korea. This was this week's highlight. PTV never got to do a feature on the celebrities of the school. If people like Leonardo DiCaprio gets to be idolized, then so should the actors of KIS. As a third feature of KIS, got talent. Got started in PTV season 2, reporter Hee Choi got a scoop on the stars of the school. I prefer here, but I'll settle for paradise. Oh. Senor Pacelloni, ah uh, sir, I do not wish to start off with the wrong foot. I joined drama because um, I to kill okay. after I watched Bly Spirit last year, I was very motivated because the performances were really well done. And I also wanted to like make the audience feel these emotions that I was trying to convey. I get to be another person at least for an hour or two. And that really relieves my stress because as a junior, like day passes by really quickly and I don't have time to take a break but during drama I get to be another person. Crucible was like all these intense emotions that I had to convey like sadness, anger, like fury. I think like especially there's a scene where I'm really sad and in those scenes I try to think of something that made me cry in the past and that really helped um, about like crazy acting. Um, I over exaggerate everything, like even smiling, even like um, just like a single gesture. I try to over exaggerate. I want to try an evil role. <laughs> All my roles have been either crazy or very manly, and yeah, the evil type of role has some sort of like feminine touches to it, and I've never had such a role. Then I really want to be like antisocial, um, like a serial killer, because I appreciate a lot of the subtleties in like acting. So, like um, for instance, in American Psycho, uh, Christian Bale plays Patrick Bateman, and he's just got this whole like mask above his like beneath, and like he has this whole mask thing going on, and beneath that mask of his, he like. He's a crazy. Um, being in a part in a huge ensemble, and I would like to call drama like a company as a big family. Oh! oh. <laughs> Yay! TV. <laughs> <laughs> All kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's getting cold again. Well, it's about time. It's almost the end of fall. Lynn, how's the weather looking like for the weekend? Is it okay for us to start preparing for the holiday season yet? Oh, it's so cold! Although Friday might be raining, Saturday and Sunday will bring just partially cloudy skies. However, Sunday temperatures will go down by a lot, so make sure to wear warm clothes. Jenny, where are you? Oh well, we don't need her. Okay, this concludes the latest episode of PTV. And until the next week, keep flying, Phoenix! Because I never left. I don't really know. T, what are you gonna do? Yeah, yeah probably. Do you have a partner? Of course not. What about Benji? T, <laughs> how about Uno? It's a good basketball player. What do you know about him? I heard he's really smart, like he takes AP Physics, AP Chemistry, you know? <sighs> it's okay, I'm only a junior, I'll go by myself. <laughs>